Hola, ¿cómo están? Oh, sorry, wrong language. Hello, how are you? My name is Aldo Vargas. I'm a PhD student for the University of Glasgow in the Micro Air System Technology Laboratories, or most commonly known as MASLAB. My research is about controlling, building and controlling small micro aerial vehicles or multicopters. So we have them in different versions. This is a 3D one, a 3D printed version. And we have them in different shapes and in different forms. Oh, it's broken. We have them in different sizes as well. Uh -huh. And with different type of, of flight controllers. But the one I'm going to be talking about today is this one. This is the third version of the Tego project that we have been working uh, for about one year and a half. And it's about uh, controlling this one, uh, the position of this one on the space XYZ via Simulink. Okay, the first step is to show you how our laboratory works. We have 18 motion capture cameras working together in order to get the position and attitude of these small markers. In this video you can see how the quadcopter is being tracked by the motion capture system while, it, while the quadcopter is flying. Our data flow is as follows. The motion capture system sends position and altitude of the quadcopter to the ground station computer running Simulink. Simulink then, then calculates the roll pitch jaw throw commands and send them via radio link to the quadcopter. We cannot show our entire Simulink program because it's quite extensive and we will require a 15 minute video in order to show that. But we are going to show the most important part, that is the trajectory command. So uh, in here I am just arming the quadcopter because we have to limit cup safety and I'm going to send a, a, a XY set coordinates. X is zero, Y is zero because I want it to be in the center of the room and height I'm going to set it up to 1.1 meters. So you can slowly see on the right top scope that the quadcopter is reaching 1.1 meters. And in the, in, the, in the bottom video you can see the quadcopter flying. I'm going to go ahead and turn off the radio for you guys to believe me. This is being controlled by Simulink entirely. So I'm going to add a little bit of disturbance to the system in order to test how well the system is performing. As you can see I am pushing the quadcopter and the quadcopter has to remain in the X and Y position that is in the center of the room, zero, zero. So as you can see it's it's keeping the position correctly. Uh, 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 we can also send different type of trajectories. In this case I'm going to send uh, two signs in X and Y uh, in order to form a eight, a number eight trajectory, so, so or, or an infinite circle. As you can see, uh, the quadcopter following the the eight trajectory. This is another view of the quadcopter flying and tracking the eight or the infinite trajectory. Uh, this video is speed up in order to show in the most in a more faster way, uh, the full trajectory. Thanks to MATLAB interface, we have a great tool in order to save data and to analyze the data in order to increase the performance of our controller and also design new controllers. This is yet another demonstration of the eight-figure trajectory using long exposure photography. So what's next for this project? We want to improve the performance of our controller as well as make it faster and more robust. Uh, we want to change the radio link uh, to Wi-Fi to, to have better data link speed. And of course we want to make a Simulink drive swarms of micro aerial vehicles. I would like to thank my supervisor Dr. Dave Anderson and also a special thanks to Dr. Murray Ireland and of course to you guys for watching this video. Thanks a lot.